So I wanted to talk to you guys about finding balance and my journey in finding balance. Time to step on the scale. All right, so here is my physique update. Here it is, Monday, March 19th. Time to step on the scale. How do we do this? All right, so we are at a new low weigh-in, 153.6. I believe last time I checked in, I was at 156.4. So this is after about 10 days on keto. Stay tuned for the physique update. All right, so here is my physique update. I lost about three pounds. I lost about half of an inch off of my waist. You can see the beginning of my abs forming at the top, but you guys can definitely see that I am a little bit leaner in my torso. So my torso is measuring in at about, um, torso is coming in at 27 and a half inches. So this is what we're working with. My energy has been fantastic. But yeah, that's what we're working with. I'm starting to see lines here in my obliques. But yeah, that is what's happening on the physique side. Go around. Let me see what that looks like. So you can see the back view. And there's the physique update. Here we go. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different with today's video. I did my physique update and I wanted to provide you guys, obviously I have zero makeup on <laughs> and that's okay. The whole point of this video is to have a little chat with you guys about, or some good lighting. That's better, got a little natural sun there. Let me see, ooh, better, better. Natural light seems to work better, but I got pimples and that's okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys about finding balance and my journey in finding balance. So as part of this new series, I've been revamping my YouTube to be more vulnerable. This year in 2018, it was one of my goals to be more vulnerable to put myself out there more. And if any of you guys have ever put yourself out there, you will know that it can be very vulnerable. And somebody like me, I admit to you all that I am a person who is very hard on myself. And it was crazy for me to hear all of your guys' comments being like, dang, you look great, like your body is goals, blah, 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 because for a long time I've felt like I know I'm the heaviest and biggest version of myself and for a long time I've always equated being tiny and ripped with being the best version of myself and now I look back on photos of when I quote unquote weighed less and was leaner and I remember distinctly the times those photos were taking thinking to myself that I wasn't lean enough, that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't whatever enough. And I wanted to come on here and share that with you guys because if I struggle with it, most likely you do too. Or if you don't, that's fine. But I do believe that there may be some people watching this that do struggle with being your own worst critic. And I think as women, we put so much pressure on ourselves. Society puts so much pressure on ourselves. Women just want to like rip each other down and I think that it's so important that you come from a place of embracing yourself and loving yourself. And that is specifically why I've decided to show you guys my weight, show you guys my body, 
and show you guys what I'm working with, how the process is going. So here's what's been happening over the last week and a half. I've been following my keto program. I have not fallen off track once. I have just been feeling awesome. As you guys have seen in my full day of eating videos, I've been able to eat out. I've been out and about. I will admit to you guys that I have had alcohol on more than one occasion in the last 10 days and it did not impact my progress. Alcohol does not break down into sugar. It is metabolized differently. If you want to learn more about that, watch my videos on alcohol. But it, and it didn't throw me out of ketosis. And by allowing myself to do that, in addition to having the higher fats, it just makes me feel like I finally have a level of balance that I can live with. This is really important to me because I'm great at going pedal to the metal. I am great at getting lean. Like I know exactly what to do. I know every trick in the book. I can get leaner than anybody, faster than anybody on the progress. If you wanna have a contest with me about who can get lean faster, I'm gonna win. But that's not about, it's not about that anymore. I am 36 years old. I just want to feel good in my skin. I just wanna feel like I have a sense of control that I live with. I don't want to eat any kind of way that I can't sustain. And there is a time and place for shredding, guys. There's a time and a place for it. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's your goal. There's nothing wrong with it. I have done it several times. It has served me in different ways. But at this point, I just want to live and eat in a way that makes me feel good. I want to look at myself and treat myself in a way that doesn't make me feel like garbage. And I only want to be around people that want to encourage and uplift me. I have no energy for negativity. And I think that it's uh, something that you have to protect in this day and age. And all that being said, you guys, I really hope that you guys are encouraged. I have been tracking all of my measurements. And yes, I'm seeing improvements. I'm leaning out. And I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm not trying to get really tiny on this journey. I mean, if I hit 150, that would be cool. If I hit under that, that's fine. But I'm not really trying to get small. I just want to drop a little body fat in my torso because I want to be able to wear crop tops and feel confident. So I'm actually wearing this angel competition bikini crop top. And if any of you guys are competing, um, I am sponsored by them and you can use code GAUGEGIRL for I believe 10% off of their bikinis. They're really great. They also have swimsuits now in addition to competition bikinis. Other than that, you guys, I just wanted to share my strive for balance. It's something I'm fighting for. It's something that I have these tendencies to go pedal to the metal or these tendencies to go, I don't care. And I'm fighting every urge inside of me to go on either extreme because balance is really hard for me. It's, it's something I struggle with. I'm like either, I'm such an all or nothing person and there's pros to that because I'm a very passionate person and sometimes my passion can be misconstrued as weakness. But I'm just going to do my best to be myself throughout the rest of the series. I have more videos coming to you this week. I'm going to do body types for men macros for motherhood, sweeteners on the keto diet, and many other things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.